Hello everyone. The optimization in the machine learning and deep learning is carrying out to change the attributes of neural networks such as weights and the learning rate to decrease the cost or loss which is creating by the network. Here we will use uh, two different terminologies that we didn't see until now. One is the epoch. Epoch in the sense the number of times the algorithm is running on the whole training data set. For example, suppose if you are having 100 samples that all the 100 samples to be sent to the network for calculating the error and accuracy. So when it is completing all the 100 examples at a sing, for a for single time then the, that is called one epoch when it is passing again back propagation uh, after the back propagation again that uh, 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 weights will be updated uh, then updated weights will be uh, added with the this 100 samples again and again pass into the second second time forward propagation once all the 100 samples are uh, passed into the network then that is called second epoch so the epoch is very important in the uh, deep neural network and the batch is the uh, uh, number of samples which are considering for updating the model parameters at each time. Sometimes the network will uh, divide the samples into number of batches. For example, I may uh, uh, divide by 20 uh, samples per batch. That's so I will take 5 batches uh, here. So like that. Uh, here we uh, we will take uh, the number of samples for each batch mostly we will create the batch in the form of 2 power n okay so here 2 or 4 or uh, 8 so like that we will create the batch of samples whenever we are taking the optimization we, we have to consider the hypothesis that is the predictive objective function uh, which is with respect to uh, parameters w h of uh, x x is here number of features then we can say uh, w0 plus w1 of x sometimes it will be uh, indicated by using the theta so at that time we can mention h of theta uh, h theta of x equal to theta 0 plus theta 1 x so sometimes uh, we will use uh, weight parameters by using the theta notation then here uh, we are having the parameters w0 and w1 as per this equation if you use theta we will get theta 0 comma theta 1 at the same time the for this hypothesis function we will calculate the uh, cost function with respect to the parameters w0 comma w1 uh, error is denoted by using the j or cost it is called as cost or um, error or loss it is uh, using mean squared error here 1 by 2 m uh, summation of i equal to 1 to m number of samples the actual output minus predicted output whole square if we use theta then we we can say the cost function as theta, j of theta 0 comma theta 1 and the goal of the optimization function is here to minimize the uh, cost okay to minimize the cost with respect to the parameters w0 w1 if you use uh, theta then minimize uh, with respect to theta 0 comma theta 1 the cost function is j of theta 0 comma theta 1 so uh, uh, few books will use theta few books will use w so we have to uh, keep in the, keep this in mind and there is various number of para optimizers available one is gradient descent and also it is called batch gradient descent uh, stochastic gradient descent stochastic gradient descent with momentum mini batch gradient descent ada grade rms propagation ada delta and adam so so many optimizers available for machine learning and deep learning technologies now we will see the first algorithm gradient descent or which is called batch gradient descent so here the aim of uh, batch gradient descent is uh, it has to minimize the error with respect to given parameters w0 comma w1 batch gradient descent is uh, using entire training set in a single iteration of the algorithm for example this figure is indicating you see all the training samples all the training samples passing 
to a single iteration so entire data set is sending to the network uh, for each and every iteration then we will calculate the average of that gradient so here once you passing all the training samples then we can compute the gradient for this cost function gradient in the sense we will uh, we will calculate the error with respect to each and every parameters wi so after calculating the gradient for each and every sample we will call we will take average of that gradients to update the parameters for using uh, uh, the uh, gradient i mean loss function okay then uh, uh, we will see uh, what is the working principle of uh, batch gradient descent is here we will start with uh, random values for each weight parameter and the bias parameter actually if you have the network like this x1 x2 number of features are here then we will uh, pass the parameters so here w1 w2 etc so this or weight parameters is initialized with random values initially then you will apply the forward propagation by using some activation function you will get the y dash uh, here hypothesis value predicted output then after that we have to calculate the cost so after predicting the output we have to calculate the cost uh, then uh, in apply the back propagation here uh, in that back propagation we have to calculate the gradient with respect to each and every parameter available in the network so here also we will have some wi right so when you are calculating the gradients it is trying to move towards lower weights and update the value of the weights by using the delta rule then uh, we have to repeat this process until the local minimum is reached so here uh, the formula for the uh, uh, weight updation is here the new wj that is new parameter equal to old parameter value minus alpha into 1 by m uh, summation of i equal to 1 to m predict actual output minus predicted output whole square then here associated sample here so here we are using the uh, value of this uh, associated parameter input feature of associated parameter okay so here uh, for each sample for each sample we will have the associated parameters uh, uh, and the feature values we have to repeat this process until we are reaching the converging point what is the converging point here so when uh, initially you assume our error is available at the uh, iteration one then uh, when you are uh, taking the iteration to so so in this figure uh, error is available here initially we and uh, we assign the weight to all the parameters then uh, based upon that weight values our error is available in this location then uh, we have to reduce the error to reduce the error we have to apply the back propagation during the back propagation the uh, weight is updated the next weight is coming to here so yeah, after uh, updating the weights we are getting the uh, cost is here then again we have to update the weights after updating the weights we will apply the feed forward propagation then after the forward propagation we will get the error here so like that step by step the weights will be updated until to reach the minimum error so here uh, error is starting from here 0 to uh, here 0 0.2 0 0.4 like that until here 1 okay so you see initially the error is at 0 0.4 okay in this location then it is step by step uh, uh, reducing uh, it, uh, then it is reaching close to the 0 after this again it is increasing in this manner so where we can stop in this location because this value is close to zero so that is the point convergence point okay suppose our error is available in this location here right then again the weight has to be updated by using the back, back propagation by calculating the gradients so next time of uh, the second iteration uh, you are getting the error in this location then third iteration you are getting the error in this location so like that you are reaching the converging point here after this point slightly again error is 
increasing so we can take this is the uh, lowest error we are getting by updating this weight so we can uh, optimize the model by using these weights then we can ignore these weights from the model so these are the weights which is provide you uh, providing you the minimum cost for this model so uh, based upon that uh, when we are looking into the batch gradient descent which is very expensive to calculate the gradients for large data set you see for each iteration we are passing entire data set okay entire data set is passing into the uh, model so so if your data set is having 1 lakh sample so at that time entire 1 lakh samples has to be sent to the model then it will calculate the cost for each and every sample then it will take average of that uh, cost so it will take much more memory so it is very expensive but which is working very well for the functions which is having convex uh, shape okay when you are having the shape in this format convex functions it is working well but it is consuming long time for non convex function suppose uh, of our our model is getting uh, the curve learning curve like this okay then if you are getting the learning curve like this it is uh, not a uh, convex function so you will get long time to get the local minimum thanks for watching